fact that Kaepernick's camp leaking this out once again, you know, they're, they have this collusion lawsuit here. And this, you would feel like, would be, you know, exhibit Y or Z with all the exhibits they probably have of collusion in their minds of these other teams here. But why does Seattle want Colin Kaepernick as the backup quarterback? A similar style to Russell Wilson? Is that what you're doing? You're going to get coverage here. And if you're Colin Kaepernick, do you really want to play football? Because that would be the one thing I would want to know. Do you want to be a backup quarterback, the role that we're bringing you in? Politics aside, I want to know if you want to play football. Because I can get around the other stuff if you truly want to be a, a football player. Now, it's harder because you're a backup quarterback, and I don't want to hear or see a backup quarterback. I don't want you doing interviews here. Your social causes, they are for the offseason, not during the season. Would he accept that? Because I, I, I don't think that's being unfair as management or ownership. I, I'm, I'm your employer, and I want you to adhere to what your role is. Or you don't play. You come in. I want you to play as our backup quarterback. We, we'll pay you. Um, but what you do in the offseason is that's, that's on your time, but this is our time. And that's what I would ask you. I don't know if he wants to be a football player. I think it helps his cause more that he's not a football player because it strengthens what he's been saying, what others have been saying. There's a martyrdom quality to this, plain and simple. And if he does play, well, then, you know, they're not holding him back and he gets an opportunity here, but he's going to be a backup quarterback. You know, in my mind, if I'm Kaepernick, I'm either starting or I'm not playing football. That would be the approach that I would have instead of being a backup where nobody wants to hear from you. They don't want to see you. I don't get to play. There's a cutaway of me holding a clipboard. That's it. That doesn't help his cause. Yeah, Paul. How do you think the media would react, sports media and other media, if the news today was Colin Kaepernick signed with the Seahawks and as part of that agreement has agreed to stand for the national anthem and curtail his protesting or any causes during the regular season? Would he be called out? Would he be... Well, I pat on the back. No, I I don't think that if, if you feel this strongly about it. But let's say hypothetically that was the news today. Colin Kaepernick has agreed to join the Seahawks. And as part of that, it leaked out. Adam Schefter reports as part of that, he agreed to stand as an employee of the Seahawks. He'll stand in the national. I mean, that's a hypothetical. I would need to know what else. What are they allowing him to do? Because. See, there's gray area there. I, I don't have a problem with it. If you're going to bring him in. Uh, but you have to have sort of the infrastructure to handle all of this and know exactly what you're going to get. The fact that Bob Condotta just said they didn't know that Michael Bennett and Jeremy Lane were not going to stand for the anthem. Like, I need to know that if we're all in this together. And But Kaepernick is not good enough to overcome this right now. And it doesn't feel like that strengthens his cause. I mean, he's got a book coming out. He's doing documentaries. You know, the whole social cause that he has – doesn't it feel like he surrendered if he says, I'll stand for the anthem? Yeah, Fritzy. And is it worth it to any team to have to try to define all that gray area and go through pages and no. pages of what they can and can't allow him to do? No. Yeah, McLovin. Part of me does feel, too, if they just signed him, that this would go away. Like, it wouldn't be – if the Seahawks did sign him, for example, in eight weeks, would it really be that much of a distraction? Or would we move on to the next story? You're going to have it, – it's the politicians who get involved in this. You know, fans as well. You know, fans deciding that they, they're going to turn off the NFL. Um, and research shows in the smaller markets you had that. You had fans who were turning off football. But it feels like it would go away eventually. Nobody cared that Michael Bennett was not standing for the anthem, right? Did anybody nationally get upset about that? But Colin Kaepernick is the one who started this. So all eyes are going to be on him every single game. To start the game, there's going to be a camera on Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, Paul. Can you imagine, hypothetically, if that whatever that beat reporter was who happened to notice in a preseason game that Kaepernick was on the bench, yeah. I think he was sitting during the national yeah. anthem and was not with the team. Imagine if someone, it just never got noticed. And imagine it just for a year got noticed and he's still playing football and this topic never came up. I know it's a big one to take in, but can you imagine the state of sports NFL, if that topic never reared its head. Yeah, for two. 
it seems like then either Colin Kaepernick or someone with him would go out of their way to find a way to get it noticed. It seems like he's, he wasn't just doing it to doing it. If you're making a statement, you want everyone to uh, recognize what's going on. I, I would think eventually, if it wasn't getting attention, maybe they would go out of their way to give it a little more attention. But I don't know, I don't know how the black community would look at this either. Uh, you know, in, in what he said and, and what he stood for, lack of a better expression, that he's acquiescing to management here and I'm going to stand for the anthem here. You know, they, I, I'm going to guess that there's part of you that says, no, I want you to continue that fight. And, and that's more important than playing a football game. I don't, and there's a lot of things that are attached to this. I don't, it's not simple. And that's why I'm, I was curious Seattle was interested in the first place. Because you're, you're bringing in something and you got to be ready for it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.